Welcome, welcome, guys, to another video. In today's video, I'm beating hardcore mode for the freaking third time this week. Anyways, as you can see, I've grinded from that area to this area, and I'm just grinding this area all day. As you can see, it's two, I have 200 million hardcore coins right here. As you can see, that number it says 200 million to unlock. So, uh, should I do it again? Beating hardcore mode for the third time. Beating hardcore mode for the third time. Should I do it? I do it, I do it, I do it. Maybe. I could, but I also sh might not. Maybe not. Probably. Should I beat hardcore mode for a third time? Should I do it? Should I do it? I don't know. Alright, I'll do it. Three, two, one for the freaking third time. Three, two, one. There we go. It's unlocked. Two million coins. Okay. I need to, uh, oh yeah, and I also traded away two golden huge hell rocks with this huge jolly penguin. You guys probably gonna save this game or something. Okay, 10 times chest coin. Okay, let's see how many I get per tick. How much do I get of this per tick? I got diamonds. Still only got diamonds. 40k? This was not worth it, bro. Bro, why did I do this? Why did I stay for hours in this game just to get nothing? Absolutely not. 60k. Oh, well, that was it. That was me. Completing everything in this game for the 40th time. All right, please. Oh, I got a shiny. Okay, not that bad. Buy another eight. I'm just gonna keep buying this. Wait, I don't even have any luck on. I don't have my super lucky on. Like that for thirty minutes, bro. This was not worth it. I literally spent so much time. I spent all day doing this, and this is what I got. Absolutely nothing. Oh my god. Bruh. It's the only stuff I got. Let's see, let's, uh, let's uh, scroll down here for a second. 118 trillion rainbows. Okay, um, so yeah, you guys gotta start beating hardcore mode. It's honestly just better, man. Just like honestly better. And what is your guys' rank? I finally got pet overlord like over two percent. But now it's just stuck at two percent. Like it's just it was stuck and now it's just stuck at four percent. So what are you guys at? Because May Rusher has like fifty eight, almost sixty percent on pet overlord rank. And uh ooh, one day, one day. Okay. Those are one days and three days. Okay. So, yeah, I've beaten Hardcore Mode all over again. Well, I've, I have Shaw, VIP, Town Forest, Beach, Mine, Winter, Glacier, Desert, Volcano, Cave, Tech Entry, Fantasy Shop, Portals, mm, Enchanted Forest, Ancient Island, Samurai Island, Candy Island, Haunted Island, Hell Island. I've basically completed everything. Look at all of this. All of this. Dude, I even completed Doodle World. Doodle World is probably so far the most hard world. No, honestly, it was Rainbow World. I couldn't even I couldn't even beat Rainbow World. It took me months to do it. I gave up on Rainbow World. It's a good thing I didn't. It's a good thing I just like, hmm, I'm not gonna give up on Rainbow World. I'm going to beat it. And then under Year's Eve, I happily beat it. 48k per tick. Not bad, but could be better. Anyways, I bet you guys the next update will have this. And this one of them is gonna be like the barn area. I called it first. No one can take dibs now. By the way, I saw this tweet on Twitter about converting normal exclusives into huges. Listen, if we get that machine, that'll be the most OP thing ever. You might uh, you might have servers with like forty huges. <clears throat> yeah, might have servers with like ten billion huges. Look at all of this, though. Like, actually. Like, have you done this? Have you completed? Okay. To be honest, it was this is what it was like for everything. 
shop world. I took off with the gifts, then I went on vacation with my family. Uh, then I got back, and I had to grind, 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 and I finally got out of the cave area. Went to Fantasy World. Took me a few days, I got to Samurai, and then I went to Candy. Then it took me a few days to get to Haunted. After Haunted, it was back to Hell Island. And then grinded in Hell Island for so long. Then I got to Heaven Island. Took me literal, like, two months to get to Heaven's Gate. Finally got Heaven's Gate, grinded for hours and hours for the rest of the day. Finally getting to, uh, Tech Entry. After a whole, like, two days. And tech, tech world is just hard as hell. I, I, I managed to get to dark tech, but after that, I was just stuck. I did get to Steambunk. The alien lab, I did. It took, like, so long. It took, it took, like, no, it wasn't, yeah. Once I got to the alien lab, finally got the Steampunk chest open. But I thought spinning your thing around was better than the uh, Steampunk chest, which it wasn't. And it took me like three days, maybe four, to get the alien force. After that, it took me a month to get the glitch. It took me like four, like five days. And this is when I was like gonna practically give up. I was only gonna go for the giant alien chest and never play hardcore ever again. But because of one update, I didn't quit. The shiny update. As soon as the shiny update came out, hardcore. Yeah, it was balanced. It became way easier. I literally got billions on the giant alien just in seconds. I literally had it in seconds. Giant alien just, boom, I got it. I, I, literally, I literally put my pets on the chest, broke it, and it gave me, tri and it gave me, like, hundreds of billions. And I, by the time, I got to the hacker portal. Then, yeah, in the void, obviously, after breaking the 10 chest. I went to Axel Ocean. I grinded here for a while, went to here, I was like, okay, finally got the Axolotl Cave, and then, um, Pixel 4, and then Pixel World, e that was easy, took a few hours, that was a little harder, this one took like, I don't know, the, almost the rest of the day, Pixel Vault, Pixel Vault took like, I don't know, a day and a half, because I had to get a billion, then I was in Cat Paradise, and I'm like, you know what? I already got to Cat World, I'm good. Got to Cat Backyard somehow. Then the Cat Taiga. I don't want to talk about it. I really, just really don't want to talk about it. Just, uh, don't want to talk about it. Then came Doodle World, Doodle Shop, easy. Doodle Metal, Doodle Peaks. It took me a few days to grind these because of May Rush Art. He, uh, made a video, and I thought I wanted to get it. Finally got to Doodle Farm. Took me two days to get to Doodle Oasis. And this came out, and then the update came out, I went to Doodle Farm, unlocked it in like, I don't know, three hours. Boom. Then this update came out. Oh, horrible. I then had to go to Doodle Woodlands, which didn't take long. It was actually only 10, or like 1.7 million. Then Doodle Safari costed 10 million. I can afford it. And then Doodle Fairyland took like, oh, I don't know. 20 minutes, 30, maybe an hour, and then, I really don't want to talk about it, this took hours, this took from, like, 10 a.m., and it's 8 o'clock right now, yeah, crazy, grinded on my phone as well, because I had to play on my computer, because I'm bored all day, it's the weekend, I got school on Monday, anyway, so yeah, now I'm at the Doodle Cave, and this is where I am at currently, Preston, I'm caught up on Pet Simulator X. This took me hours to do. If you do not make a hoverboard here, I will be mad. Very, very mad. Hardcore is the hardest thing I've ever done. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.